Hi, Pastor Kip here. I want to wish you a very happy Memorial Day as I come to you this week for Faith Lift. Memorial Day, of course, is when we remember and honor those who have given their life in the armed services to preserve our freedoms and our liberties for which we are eternally grateful. And you know, every Memorial Day, I always think of a story I heard a preacher share when I was a, a little boy. I don't remember the minister's name, but I do remember his story because it touched me very deeply. In his sermon, he shared when he was a young man serving in the Marine Corps, he was in World War II, and he was on the battlefield, and he and his fellow soldiers were pinned down by the Nazi snipers. They were hunkered down in the foxholes behind the sandbags, and they were doing what they could to fight back, but they were overwhelmed, and they feared that they were outnumbered. And he said they could hear the moans and the groans of their wounded fellow soldiers laying on the battlefield not far from them. And they wanted to retrieve them from the battlefield and get them the medical attention that they needed. But they were talking among themselves about who should go, who would be willing to go. And he said that there was one of the soldiers, he was this large, thick, gruff guy from the Midwest. He wasn't very educated, the minister said, kind of simple-minded, but he volunteered to go. And as they were getting ready to send him out and to back him up and to cover him with protective fire. He said, I can't go just yet. What time is it? And they wanted, what time is it? Yes, what time is it? And someone said, well, it's 1045. It was 1045 a.m. And he said, I'll go, but I, I'll, I'll go at the noon hour. Well, why the noon hour? Why can't you go now? If you're willing to go now. Uh, and he said, no, I, I need to wait till noon. And the reason he gave was this. He said that when I was standing on the platform at the train station in Omaha, Nebraska, and I was getting ready to ship out, not knowing where I would go, but knowing that there was a war going on and that I would probably be on the battlefield. He said, my mother hugged me and told me that no matter where I was and no matter what I was doing, no matter what I was going through, that every day at noon, she would be on her knees praying for me and for my safety and praying for me wherever I was in the world. He said, at noon, I will go. It didn't seem to dawn on Tank. Tank was the nickname that they had given him. It didn't seem to dawn on Tank that he was probably in a different time zone. What mattered to him was that, as far as he was concerned, at the noon hour, his mother, back in Omaha, Nebraska, would be on her knees praying for him. And there he was in that foxhole in the middle of a war. You know, that reminds us of the power of prayer and the power of courage. It also challenges us to recognize that we all face fears in life. But overcoming those fears is possible through the power and the presence of God. The prophet Isaiah declares in Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. I will be your God. I will strengthen you and I will uphold you with my mighty hands. I don't know what you're going to face this week. I don't know what I'm going to go through this week. The tragedies or maybe even the triumphs, but I know this that God is upholding us with His mighty hands. So, fear not. And on this Memorial Day, when we recognize so many who fearlessly gave their life, we then stand tall and march forward into the world, knowing that whatever we face, God is there to hold us strong. That is your faith lift for the week. Be encouraged. Be strong. Fear not. And until we're together again, may the richest blessings of God be yours always.